We've never seen Unique like this before. He's behind bars, obviously, the way Rock set him up at the end of season one. Now he's dealing with the consequences. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2. And we're going to be talking about your boy Unique. I want you guys to leave your predictions for Unique's character this season. We already saw three episodes and so far your boy Unique is definitely stirring things up within the whole storyline. With the, you know, the beef that he got with Rock. It's heating up. It is heating up. So I want to know exactly what y'all think is going to happen for his character. Now we already went over Lulu. And we also went over Marvin. So now it is time to talk about Unique. And also, if you didn't see my last video, check it out. We talked about Jukebox going against Zisa. It's about to be a showdown between the two, in my opinion. We know the song that Jukebox has called Bruise. Zisa is getting the remix version. And I got a feeling Jukebox is going to be pissed off about that. And she's going to take her frustrations out. Probably on Lulu, Crown, and of course, Zisa. So check that video out if you have not seen it. But let's talk about the topic of discussion, those predictions for Unique's character this season. And I got a question for y'all. Should Rock have just taken out Unique when she had the opportunity in the last episode? She could have took him out, but we know it would have probably been over for Juliana if she did that. And that is something that Rock did not want to do. But then again, Unique did put, he put down his gun, right? He put down that strap. So Rock could have done it. Now we know Lulu was the one that said that, look, ain't no use for us doing this because everybody's going to know we did it. Was that a smart move? Will that come back on Rock, her organization? Will Lulu feel bad about that decision he just made? Because he said it ain't, you know, it's not personal. It was just business on why the things happened between the two. Well, we're going to find out if that's the case. And I'm going to tell you right now, in my predictions for Unique's character, I believe he's going to start from scratch. You know what I'm saying? He's rebuilding that's what I think he's doing. What he did to Rock is what he said. He's just doing that, just showing her he can make problems for her in the Colombians any time he wants to, right? He already had a conversation with his baby's mom about, you know, protecting the family. He told her nothing's going to happen to them, right? Because we know she was talking about something happening to his son, Jerome, which I believe something will end up happening to somebody in his family. And this is something they've been kind of building on since season one. I believe something's going to happen down the line. I don't know who's going to be taken out, but do not be surprised if Unique's son or his baby's mom end up getting hurt because Unique is a part of the game and he wants to, you know, get revenge. And I think he still wants to get revenge on Rock. Even though he said, look, you won, you beat me. So be it. All I want is peace. You know what I'm saying? My name don't hold no weight on these streets no more. His boy, Rorel, turned on him and, you know, he's doing his thing. Now, do you honestly believe after that conversation he had with his boy, Rorel, that he was just going to sit up there and walk away and everybody can just have peace? Ain't no peace on these streets. I don't see it happening at all. Now, we know Unique has that connection or at least the connection with the Italians is going to, you know, develop as the season continues to air out. We know Unique, he saved Marco. When he was locked up and we know Marco is connected with the Italians. We will be introduced to the Italians in episode four. And we know the Italians, they're going to cause issues for Rock because Rock believes she can deal wherever she wants to deal without checking in. You know what I'm saying? Without having conversations with people first before she does things. She believes she can move and work wherever she wants to work on other people's territory, which at the end of the day, as Marvin said, we don't know all the players, you know what I'm saying? So you can't just be doing all this stuff like, you know what I'm saying, we back at home. No, you're in a different spot. And the sad thing is this, Rock being enemies with the Italians in Unique is bad. It's bad for business. You have two common enemies. They both don't like you and they both are going to have a connection. That is my prediction. We already talked about Unique hooking up with them. And if that is the case, that makes Unique even more dangerous because deep down the side, he feels like he has nothing to lose but his family for real. He's not probably going to tell anybody that, but we can see it. We know he wants to protect his family. And that's exactly 
what he's going to try his best to do. But at the same time, I believe Unique is going to try to rebuild and he's going to try to take over once again. He's pissed off. I mean, he can't get no work from Dean. Rock done took everything. His boy done, you know, switched sides on him, right? So he's like, look, I got to do what I got to do. And I believe exactly what Unique said. He's not allowing anybody to force him off the streets. It ain't happening. So I'm expecting Unique to definitely rebuild and cause problems for Rock down the line. I believe them not taking him out, they're going to pay for that. Even though, you know, maybe Lulu was right. Everybody's going to know it was them. But then again, if they have no proof, what can they really do? You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, the, the logic behind all of this. They don't want too much drama, too much, you know, attention on them, seeing that they're trying to expand. Rock already talked about this at the very beginning of the season, but Scrappy got taken out just like that. And they said it was a suicide. So, you know what I'm saying? They made that seem like an accident, right? But when it comes to Unique, it's a little bit different. We know he's one of the main characters of this show. So to take him out, it ain't just going to be that easy, right? It can't be that easy. They got to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more harder for Rock and her organization to do this. And, you know, I still believe that's going to backfire. They're going to suffer the consequences of not taking him out. And I'm going to tell you right now. Yes, I believe something's going to happen to Unique and his family. We talked about that, whether it's his son or his baby's moms. But I honestly believe Unique is going to take somebody down, whether it's his homeboy or somebody else that's a part of Rock's organization. And we already know her family, Lulu and, of course, Marvin. And ain't nothing happening to Kane in the jukebox. We know that for sure. Rock should be good. But what about Marvin and Lulu? Will Lulu be the one that's going to pay? You know, maybe so, maybe not. But... If you think Unique is not going to cause some problems for them, trust me, he will. That dude going to cause some problems. When it's all said and done, when we get to the end or maybe even the middle of the season, Rock is going to be like, see, I should have just took him out when I had the opportunity to. You know what I'm saying? I should have just got rid of him, but I didn't. And now look what he's doing. He's hooking up with the Italians, and now he's making more problems for me and what I'm trying to do. But see, the thing about Unique is he's smart. He's going to move smart. And make those adjustments. Rock, she's moving smart as well. She she's expanding, but she's creating problems within the family. All of these lies, the things that she's doing is creating problems that eventually is gonna blow up in her face. And if you're gonna be going up against Unique along with the Italians, that's the last thing that you want. You do not want a broken family. You want everybody together, you want everybody as a unit. But this unit is going to have some issues, and those issues is because of lies, right? A lot of lies going on. So I definitely think that's going to benefit Unique in the long run. But you guys, y'all leave y'all predictions for Unique's character. Y'all let me know exactly how y'all see it playing out with Unique. I don't think this is the last time we're going to see him. I definitely believe he's going to create issues for Rock. And, you know, somebody just may get dropped off. But as I told you guys, I definitely believe something bad it's going to happen to one of Unique's family members, whether it's, you know, his baby's mom or his kid. And I don't want to see no kid getting taken out. But the way they've been building it up, they definitely making it seem like something major will happen. And also within this season, we're starting to see like a switch, right? Because it seems like Rock is the villain. But in power, I mean, anybody can be the villain based on, I guess, whoever's watching it, you know, perspective. And after seeing some of the things Rock has done this season... A lot of the fans were pissed off at her. And I've been seeing people. People have been saying they ready for their Rock pack. They was pissed off at Rock for what she did to Scrappy. But this is the game. These are the consequences of your actions. And if you slip up just a little bit, you will be taken out. And we already know being loyal in this game, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because we know how loyal Scrappy was. Hell, it's a lot of people that's out there that's loyal. But it's only going to get you so Far. You have to think outside the box, you have to move different, and you have to be a little bit ruthless when it comes to this. So we're going to see how everything plays out with Rock and how she acts, and also what's going to happen with Unique and how he's going to operate this season. Now we will continue to talk about Power Book 3 Racing Kanan. Get ready for episode 4, it's about to go down, I cannot wait to see what's next. But I want to thank you guys for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here man, it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.